Hi everyone, this is Priya Satish from Expressions Craft. For today's project, I'm going to use an MDF chopping board as my base. I'm first covering the chopping board with black gesso from Expressions Craft. I am speeding up my drying time of the gesso with hair dryer. I am now using the iMix stencil paste purple with Expressions Craft stencil to add interest to my background. Since the theme for this month is galaxy, I am going with the purple stencil paste. I want to add lots of textures to my background. Now I am taking the crackle texture paste and the white sand texture paste from iMix and I add them to the background. This will create a very nice interesting effect to my background. I want my foreground to be a very simple straightforward one so I'm adding lots of textures to my background I'm using the crackle paste in a very thick consistency which means I want to get a very bold thick cracks if you want to get very tiny cracks then the application should be very thin for this project I want a very thick cracks. I am now using the hair dryer to speed up the process. Let me bring it up close to the camera so you can see the cracks. There are bold cracks, there are tiny cracks. I am now covering the textures again with heavy black gesso. I want a little more textures on my background. So I am using the same stencil along with the stencil texture paste purple to give a little more interest to the background. Now I am going to use a little bit of embossing powders directly onto my background. For this I am using the deep sea dusty rose lucky charm green and magical black red embossing powders from iMix. I'm just sprinkling the embossing powders here and there and I'm going to directly heat set it without using any ink. The galaxy has a bit of green, pink, purple, all sorts of colors. Hence, I am using these colors as extra textures. Now, I am adding a little bit of embossing ink along with the embossing powder and this will give you a little more depth to my background. Next, I am going to use Twilight Pearl Metallic Spray and Dark Purple Sprinkle Mist 
on to my background i am not adding any water to my background i just want the color to be rich this creates a nice deep sky effect on to my background this looks like a night sky basically i am now going to use a little bit of chipboard embellishments from expressions craft i am using the golden radiance metallic spray on to my chipboards this gives a nice lustrous finish the metallic sprays has pearl pigments in that so this will give the sprays a nice lustrous shiny effect i am now going to sprinkle a little bit of the golden radiance on to my background this will create a little more interest to my background for the galaxy theme i'm also splashing a little bit of sprinkle mist white to the background i want the nice star effect that's why i'm sprinkling the white sprinkle mist next i'm splashing a little bit of brown green iridescent paint onto my background now i'm going to splash snowy pearl metallic paint onto my background i'm watering down the snowy paint a little bit and then adding the splashes this will create a more starry effect for my galaxy i'm using the same paint to highlight the chipboards and the embellishment which will be my focal point i have used a face embellishment which i want to represent as the sun i have the moon and the stars so they form the galaxy in my project adding this paint to my chipboard gives a more sophisticated look to my chipboards this particular chipboard looks like the orbits of the planets which revolves around the sun I am now going to adhere all the chipboard embellishments onto my background with dimensional heavy gel from iMix.
I am now using the Prima waxes to highlight the textures and my chipboards. I am now splashing white acrylic paint all over my project. This will create a more nice galaxy effect. Let me bring it up close to the camera so you can see the textures and the highlights. Finally, I am adding the coat, painting the galaxy to see the stars to my project. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.